New York, they say you're always looking for a job, a boyfriend, or an apartment. I've been dating since I was 15. I'm exhausted. Where is he? Who, the white knight? Sometimes it's hard to walk in a single woman's shoes. That's why we need really special ones to make the walk a little more fun. All right, the series Sex and the City first aired 25 years ago. And all these years later, we continue to watch the characters on the Max Reboot Show. And just like that. That's right, those New York characters based on the writings of our next guest, the real Carrie Bradshaw, <laughs> who will be center stage with her one-woman show at the Green Room 42. So please welcome back international best-selling author Candice Bushnell. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm fangirling. Oh, right I now. know, right? I mean, you're the real deal. Back on the stage, true tales of sex, success, and, and sex se in the city. Yes, and right. the show is, it's in some ways the origin story of Sex in the City. Okay. It's how I created Sex in the City, how hard I worked to get there, why I invented Carrie Bradshaw, and what happened to me afterward. And along the way, I answer some of fans' most burning questions like, was there a real Mr. Big? Mm -hmm. Do I really have a shoe obsession like Carrie Bradshaw? <laughs> and did I really have three friends like the ones on the TV show? Yeah. And, and we also play game, real or not real. Okay. Oh. Because so many things that happened on the TV show happened in my real life, but they were better or worse. And a lot of these things have to do with some of the guys Carrie dated. Okay. Like the senator. Oh, yes. And people are going to have to come to Green Room 42 to, okay. to, to get the answer to these questions. And, this, and this is a it's one, really fun. And this is a one-woman show. You are up there on your own. But this isn't the first time, right? No. It's a, it's a one-woman show. And I, it started off-Broadway at the Daryl Roth Theater. So that was incredibly exciting. And I've done it at the Carlisle Hotel. Mm -hmm. I've done it in various places uh, around the country. And now I'm doing it around the world. Mm -hmm. I just got back from South Africa. Yeah. Wow. And I'm scheduled to go to, well, I'm going to Hartford, Connecticut at the beginning of November, Chicago. And then I am Palm Beach, oh, of course. Okay, got to go to Palm Beach. And then I'm going to Italy and oh, England oh and Canada. Okay, world so tour. So it's it's snowballing. Yeah. So it's it's really amazing. You know, so when you created the character, right? Because we were talking about 25 years ago, the first episode of Sex and the City is when it when it first debuted, right? When you were right, when you came up with this concept, did you have any idea it would blow up to a phenomenon where there'd be a movie and a series and a reboot? Well, I knew when I got the column, and this is, of course, one of the things that I, I talk about in the show, I knew that it was my big break. Yeah. Because I'd been working in New York since I was 19. Right. And I'd been writing, and there were times when I was broke, I was depressed, I had no money, mm -hmm. and then when I got the column in Sex and the City, I'm sorry, in the New York Observer, yeah. and it was called Sex and the City, of course, I knew that was my big break. Okay. And, and it just, it grew from there. So it's really been wonderful. Yeah. And then to have that connection with some of these big names, I mean, like Sarah Jessica Parker, I think we have a photo of you with her. Right, yes, we have that photo we with her. Do. She's been portraying your alter ego, Carrie Bradshaw, all these years. Yes, yes. Yeah, and, and I mean, the thing that's really so wonderful about it in a way is that you know sex in the city and the actors are just they're just part of the you know part of the fabric of New York life mm -hmm. um, you know I still I still go to fashion week mm -hmm. I still date yeah wow. I'm still on dating apps okay. and that's also part of the show which wow. people can see at green room 42 yeah and and I, I run into the actors from the show, like, all yeah. the time, so which still, I love. Let's get personal. So you're still on the dating apps, right? How have things changed from, like, the old you to now uh, in the well, dating world of New York and the whole game? Because dating in New York is so a full-time job. Now. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I won't do the full-time job thing. Right. I, I mean, I have found... It, like people somehow seem busier yeah. than they ever right. were before. It's very hard to, it's very hard to string together three dates. Yeah, I, I found, you. and you know, a lot of the time, 
guys are writing me like, let's get together, and I'd love to, but you're on I'm tour. going to South Africa <laughs> right. you know, to do my show in a theater where they do The Lion King, which right. is incredible. Yeah. Um, so it just seems to be, you know, it's like a, it's a time thing that right. seems to be a problem. But yeah. the other thing I found is that it does not matter how old you are. You can be 20 years old, you can be 35, you can be 60. Mm -hmm. Everybody has the same issues. Right. And I've dated, I've also dated guys of all ages from like 21 to 91. <laughs> which, wow. Yes. I mean, it's a whole and, world out there. Yeah. And anybody special now? No. <laughs> okay. No. In fact, I am about to get back on that dating okay. app as soon as I leave. No. Okay. <laughs> you and me both. See if there's anybody yeah. around. All right. Yeah, maybe we'll, maybe we'll match. Exactly. <laughs> Who knows? We'll talk afterwards. Uh, yeah, it's, it's so funny. <laughs> Sorry. And by the way, National Book Month, I'm going to mention you have a lot, of th a lot of books out there. Yes, uh, you have I ten. actually do. I have ten, ten books. Wow. I have ten books. Lipstick Jungle, One Fifth Avenue, Trading Up. Yeah. And those are some of my favorites. Yeah. And they're all about New York City. There you go. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for things that are in the Sex and the City vein, those yeah. are some great books to read. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Candace, for coming on. Yeah. It was great Thank to meet you. you. Yeah, well, check right. out. You can meet Candace Bushnell at the Green Room 42 next week, October 11th, 12th, 14th, and 15th. Four performances of her one-woman show, True Tales of Sex, Success, and Sex in the City. Great to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you.